what up youtubers 6811 hyper blossom so I'm pretty sure you've all seen the new Sailor Moon 2014 crystal trailer am I right and sorry I did not post the trailer on my account because my computer's been screwing up and plus I really didn't know that it came out until like a couple of hours later when people like five other people also uploaded it so you know, it's, it's probably not a good thing to upload, especially with the new YouTube, Google Plus thing combined. It, yeah, uploading's been kind of hard for me lately. But, anyway though, so the new Sailor Moon will come out July 5th. We're all excited. I've heard it'll come on um, Nickel and Nickel Doga. I think that was the website anyway. Nickel Nickel and Nickel Doga. Can't pronounce. It'll come on something like that. It, it, the link will be in the description, I hope. If I get that in, that'll be great. And um, I've also been told that it's also been on Crunchyroll. Or will be on Crunchyroll, so that'll be good. I'll probably have to try and load my computer for like an hour to watch it. But, uh,. Maybe that, maybe my computer will work long enough for it to play the episode because my mobile device does, it takes about a week for it to allow me to view stuff. Because it's very slow. I don't like internet. It don't like me. We have a mutual hate relationship there. Anyway though. Okay, so let's talk about the trailer now for Sailor Moon Crystal. We saw it, the, it was the same voice actor that originally did Yusaki Tsukino, which is great. Hopefully we can see the crybaby come back with, you know, I don't, I don't know how I how I'll put it there, but oh well. Anyway, though, um, I really liked the trailer. It was very detailed. And it was more cleaner. The music was great. I heard a lot of people didn't like the music, though. I thought the music was pretty fun, you know. But, um, I... Is pro the music that they played is probably going to be the new opening for Sailor Moon. I kind of thought it sounded like Soul Eater not opening in many ways. Which kind of concerns me because I'm, I'm not a big fan of Soul Eater, not really, you know. I mean, I've watched it all, kept up to date with Soul Eater, but it's not one of my favorites. I'll tell you now. <sighs> oh, okay, but, um, but, you know, it was good though. We got to see all the Sailor Scouts, but, you know, mostly, though, it was clean, and uh, there's not really much to put much thought on to that yet. I do have some concerns, though, about the trailer. Yusaki Sakina was portrayed as a 14-year-old in the manga and in the original Sailor Moon, and in the trailer, they kind of made her look like she was 17 and mature. She's supposed to be the crybaby you know, who grows up with the series, you know, like, compared to the manga, of course, she grew up faster in the manga, you know, compared to the old anime, but I like doing a lot of comparisons to see what we're gaining and what we're losing, and I have a feeling that we're probably going to be losing the crybaby Serena, or Usagi. I'm in English mode today, people, sorry. <laughs> oh... Anyway, though, well, well, now let's talk about um, Nakotaki Uchi's theme for this new manga, or er, anime series. Now I'm stuck on manga mode. It's really sad makes me to do that lately, but anyway, though, Nakotaki Uchi is wanting to try and make this new Sailor Moon Crystal anime like her manga was to her own idea. And well, I'm a little concerned about how that might work out. As great as I am that it's going to turn out like the manga, you know, I have a theory about what, how it might end. I've heard from a lot of sources and a lot of people, good sources too, nothing, nothing shabby, I promise you. Um, if you wanted to know where I've heard it from, you know, you can comment that, and I'll write in the comments. If I get a lot of it, I'll probably write it in the description or something like that. So you guys can see some of the links where I got this idea from. Well, in the original story, 
whenever Nako Takayuchi was first creating Sailor Moon before she was getting into the company, I had heard that she originally wanted the Sailor Scouts to die in the end. She wanted she wanted to have Sailor Moon as a one season, you know, probably consisting of four volumes probably and as a manga. You know, something short, and she originally wanted the Sailor Scouts to die. Well, whenever she got into the company to start working with this manga, the company and someone else, I forgot, it was someone higher up, like a manager or like vice president of the company, I'm not really sure. I kind of forgot, and can't really look it up since, well, my computer is kind of down at the moment for fast lookup, but didn't want that to happen though because it was a shoujo manga you know the nice freely magical girl series so she did not like that well whenever the series became popular and she was able to create more seasons you know we had kind of more er, oh my gosh sorry that's like my most favorite artist is arena tanimura so i say her name a lot but anyway <laughs> scratch that for a moment uh, okay, Nako Takayuchi was able to, in each season, allow the characters to get killed off, but the company had to bring back the Sailor Scouts each time that they had Koda died. In the Japanese series, anyway. In the English, they never died. Which was kind of sad, because I like, you know, an anime series to be clean and uncut, not skipped around on some major parts. Anyway, though, Nako Takayuchi kind of resented that. She didn't really like the thought of not being able to kill off the characters in her own story. So, and now that she kind of has good rights and back with, and she's back with the original company or whatever, you know, and anyway, she, she has her Sailor Moon rights back, so maybe it's possible that the ending might work that way. I highly doubt it though, but it's something to keep in mind while the series is going. I mean, it is a shoujo, shoujo series, anime style, with the really magical girls, and you know, that can't really happen, but then again, think of Moroko Magica, you know, but anyway though, I highly doubt something like that would happen, but that's just a thought, because Nakata Kiyuchi always wanted to do that with a series of hers, so even though she does magical girls, it might turn out like that, who knows, but anyway though, the trailer was good, great, great, um, the trailer was great, can't wait for it to come out July 5th to see it on like all over the internet, it probably won't be posted on YouTube till like three days later or something, you know how that goes, I've seen the Ruby series, RWBY Ruby, it would be like a week before I got out, but you know, I was one of those membership people. Yay! I got to see it when it first came out. I was so happy. I really like the series, so it's great. But anyway, though, <clears throat> we're talking about Sailor Moon here. So anyway, though, Sailor Moon's great. Can't wait to see it. Hopefully, it's not gonna be, you know, anything negative that I was just talking to you about on the trailer, but anyway, though. Oh, and by the way, while I'm also on the subject about well, go back though to where I was talking about um, Yusagi Tsukino keeping the same Japanese voice actor. Um, even though her is keep, she's keeping a voice actor, and I think Tuxedo Mask is keeping the same Japanese voice actor, um, I heard that the other four Sailor Scouts, they have changed their voice actors. That's what I've heard. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but that is what I've heard through like all this rampaging moments of Sailor Moon. So, um, I had a list of them, but I don't know where it went, actually. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, you can tell I'm prepared for this video, but hey, I wanted to get that out here. Anyway, though, I hope you enjoyed some of the clips I showed you if you did not see the trailer. If you have not, you probably should, because if you hadn't, then you're pretty sad. But, you know, go see the trailer, because it's awesome. It's pretty good. If you don't like it, that's great too. <laughs> I'm just, I'm in a good mood today, so let's just keep it that way. Yay. Anyway though, I'll sign off now.
because I've blacked long enough. And keep in tune. Bye! あなたを探していたのよ、うさぎちゃん。うさぎちゃんには使命があるのよ。仲間を集めて敵を倒すの。変わって